Hey everybody, it's Danielle. I want to make sure I was recording. All right, so I am here. I want to teach you um, a little bit of a Canva trick here that I love to use and I want to share it with you guys as well. So I am going to have my screen shared here with you. Um, so a big thing I like to do is doing batch um, posts and everything along those lines. I talk about it all the time. I'm currently been working on recipes. I found that I can blend really well. I stink at naming them. So I've been doing this like little thing with my team or I'm um, sorry, my VIPs and we've been naming them. So I kind of started creating some recipes here, right? And I have a couple more I need to make. So I want to show you what I do. So in Canva, now I do have Canva Pro. So some of these, uh, some of the images you'll see coming up here will have like a copyright image on them. Just want to kind of let you know. I'm going to go ahead and click on duplicate page. Everyone has this opportunity. Now, I really like this because then I'm able to basically kind of keep the same format. Everything stays the same. And I want to show you how easy it is to slide something in. So I am going to do in the cotton candy recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and um, image it all. And then I want to do some photos. And I'm going to look for a cotton candy recipe that uh, image that I like. Now I can go ahead and slide it in. I don't like how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and look for another one. And you can see how easy it is just to kind of easily slide in. Um, there we go. Maybe I'll do that one. Or do we want to do that one? It's kind of really easy just to slide that image in. Um, so this is a nice feature that I have. And what I do, if I would be creating this from scratch, like if I go ahead and create this from scratch, I would have, we'll do that same image, okay? I'd be putting that on there. As you can see, this image is lighter. I would have to then go change the transparency. I have it all set to 51. Um, so that way I have it, I'm able to do it. As you can see, there's that. And then I would have to copy this. Like you can do all this, all this work that I'm currently doing, copying it and, but instead, a reinventing wheel each time all you have to do is slide it over so i'm just going to go ahead rename this real quick and then cotton candy is sea salt salt yeah, delete that and vanilla and then it is sugar s-u-g-a-r buzz and then I want to change, I can make, change the colors, change the size. I want this in pink um, because in my mind, cotton candy is always that pinky color. Might change it to a different pink. Let me see here. Or maybe, I, no, that'd be fun. Hmm. You can go ahead and switch out the color. Yeah, we're going to keep it in that color. All right. So then I have that one. And next one we're going to do is date night. So I'm going to go back up to my images. I'm going to go ahead and do date night. And this is how I quickly am able to batch um, things out. No, I don't want to do date night. I want to do, it is seaside romance. Let's see if I can find something like that. Oh, look at that. I love when I can find an image that makes sense. Okay, boom. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it and kind of drag as you can see that is a pro image i'm using but you can find your own see if i just put it on there like that it stays over top you'd have to recenter everything but if you kind of oh actually i like this one better i'm glad i saw that there we go boom so then i'm going to do seaside romance and this way i have like my little um emblem that i keep on there um Like my little image uh, watermark that I keep on there. And that is, oh, geez, Louise. Um, sea salt, salt mist. Sorry. I gotta see. It is the salt mist. I cannot say this. Norali. It is manly man. And summer romance. Oh no, sorry. And it is pink pee peeny. P 
O N Y. All right. But I do have another romance one. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the page. I was mixing them up together in my head. Okay. So this is what I have as date night. So we have summer romance. Romance. And then apparently I don't know how to spell romance. Well, I'm going to spell right in this one. Hold on. There we go. Summer Romance, Manly Man, and this one here <clears throat> is, is it, yeah, it is right of Forked. All right, and then I'm just going to go back into like, those photos and see if I can find something that says like date night. You can kind of find a picture that might make sense for what you're looking for. I'm digging that. Let's see how it looks. And then again, it goes right underneath there. We're going to change this color. Date night. I think I'm going to make it more on my side. I want no two blue. Two, yeah, I like the lighter blue. And then do the lighter blue over there, date night. All right. So then I was going to change Seaside Romance. I think I want it like a, like a Huey color, like a, su a sunny sun color. Mm, I don't like how it looks on there. Night. See, and that's the fun thing about doing this is that you can change it to whatever color scheme anything like that that makes sense for you you can make it bigger you can make it smaller but this to to me i love looking i personally love looking at everyone's recipes they're great but i have like this one little thing i love to have things look the same so this is able to have me have it look the same okay so we're going to use those I'm going to go back here. I'm going to show you another thing I do. So like I do this and that, right? So I have my this or that's. And again, I have them. I have, and I just sit there. Again, is the templates already set up for me. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to duplicate the page. I already uploaded some images, but I want to do, let's do something fun. We'll do like a this or that. We'll do the summer what there or we'll do the palm leaves okay and then boom i have it ready to go it's so easy you can bust these out and then what you can do then is save them all print um schedule them out and you're good to go so i hope this helps um you guys as well i'm going to go ahead and stop presenting i hope this helps you guys out if you have any questions let me know if not I hope you have fun on this little trick and tip about utilizing Canva and batching out your videos. Talk to you later. Bye.